Well, we got hacked. Our main website, incomeschool.com, and all the websites attached to it, channel makers, all of it, it got hacked. Now, fortunately in our case, the hack was very widespread, a lot of websites. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about website security. We'll briefly talk about this hack specifically because it's specifically for website owners, but let's talk about ways that we can prevent these from happening to us and what we can do if we see those kinds of things happening. For me, this started on Friday, June 28th. Of course, it had to be a Friday, <laughs> a day where like, when I get home from work, it's time for the weekend. In fact, it was the Friday before a holiday week, and so it was particularly annoying. But um, I digress. Okay, on, 20, on the 28th of June, it was around 11 o'clock in the morning, I was in a meeting, I was talking to somebody external, and they said, hey, by the way, the homepage of your website has something weird on it. And they showed me a spot on the homepage where it was just showing a little bit of code, like mixed in behind this little text box. I thought, well, that's really weird. And I went to the website and I wasn't seeing the same thing myself. And I thought, it's probably some sort of weird caching thing. Something didn't load correctly. I'm sure it's fine. Um, <laughs> well, as time passed later on in the day, I noticed more and more of that. In fact, it got to the point where every single image on the website had disappeared. And in the container holding that image, including like for each one of these testimonials, that meant like this whole box. The code for the embed of this image just appeared behind the text of this. I thought, well, that's messed up. It's getting worse. I contacted our developers because they're way better at this stuff than I am. And I tried to figure out what was going on. And they looked and they found that there was a line of, of code in a plugin that we use. The plugin was PowerPress by Blueberry. It's literally the plugin that we're using to manage our podcasts. Um, it's a very commonly used plugin by thousands and thousands of people who are WordPress users and podcasters. And I thought, well, that's kind of odd. And they said, yeah, I fixed this line of code or I removed this one little piece that was causing a weird error and we moved on until a little bit later when the site basically went down. I was getting 404 errors. I was getting errors saying that the host was taking too long to respond. That was the main error that I got. And so it just couldn't access the website. I tried to log into the back end, couldn't access that either. Well, turns out what happened, this started four days earlier on the 24th. And basically what happened is somebody was able to gain access to some developer accounts on WordPress. Accounts where literally the developers are able to update their releases and then push those releases out from the WordPress repository. Meaning somebody was able to gain access to the back end, make some changes to the PowerPress plugin among others, and then push those, those updates out. And they look just like regular updates. Now the PowerPress plugin, which is the only one in this entire list of plugins that was affected that we use, um, that wasn't impacted until Friday the 28th. You see what this hack did was it added four, in my case, four different admin accounts to the website. So four new user accounts with admin access to be able to make any changes, whatever they wanted on the website. It also added some code not just to the plugin, it injected code into my theme files for all the themes on my website. But fortunately, because WordPress caught it so quickly, those admin accounts were quickly deleted. And as I was only one of 116,000 WordPress users impacted by this, my site was never accessed by any of those admin accounts. So what do we need to do to keep ourselves safe? You see, because it used to be that you didn't really have to worry too much about it as long as you were using reputable plugins created by reputable companies <laughs> or reputable people, you were probably pretty safe. And the reason for that is because WordPress plugins and themes are probably the easiest way for somebody to attack your website. That's because you go in and you install other, other people's code onto your website. That's what plugins and themes are. And so if somebody is able to inject malware into a theme or a plugin, then now that's on your website and that can give them a back door to access your website. What caused this particular issue? Somebody was able to alter the code on a handful of WordPress plugins and then push out an update without the owners of those plugins even knowing about it right away. And you know how they were able to gain access to those? Because recently there was another massive data breach and people were able to gain access to, I don't even know how many, but tons and tons and tons and tons of passwords. So here's one thing that you can do 
especially if you happen to be a WordPress developer <laughs> who has access to be able to push out plugin updates. Anytime you get a notification that one of your passwords was found in a data breach, go change that password. One of the tools that I use is called LastPass. LastPass is a tool that will store your passwords for you. I've been using this for years. I don't even think I'm an affiliate for them. If I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up to be, and I'm gonna link to that in the description of this video, but I might not even be an affiliate by the time that you get this. I don't care if I get a commission or not if you sign up. I'm telling you, I use LastPass because it's a tool that I like to use. What it does is it allows me to, one, store all of my passwords securely, store them across all of my devices, whether it's an Apple device, uh, it's a browser extension, so I can have it right here in my browser, whether I'm using Chrome, Safari, or anything else, and uh, it stores my passwords, it generates secure passwords, and it'll alert me if the password to any one of the things that I log into, if that password was found in a known data breach. And then I can go ahead and change the password right there. The next thing to do related to passwords is two-factor authentication. On any accounts, particularly important accounts, make sure you turn on two-factor authentication. For WordPress developers, WordFence, who is the name, by the way, they wrote this article, they have this article all about this uh, attack that happened, but they're the name in WordPress website security. Um, they caught on to what was going on here and their malware detection was able to detect this. Uh, I think that's fantastic. Using WordFence is another great way to be able to catch this sort of malware and trap it and prevent it from doing these kinds of things. In fact, I also have malware detection turned on with my host. I use Cloudways to host my websites and they have a malware scanner tool, uh, malware detector scanner and um, remediator built in as well that I went ahead and I turned on. It, I did a malware scan literally while this hack had happened, the website's currently not working and it didn't detect it, but it, it appears that WordFence was able to. So now I have WordFence too. If your website is important, if you're using it as a business, especially if you're collecting customer information, selling products, that kind of stuff, you absolutely should have this sort of security. Anyway, in their article here, WordFence recommended that all WordPress developers make sure you turn on two-factor authentication to be able to push out a plugin or a theme update. By requiring two-factor authentication to do that, it would have prevented any of these from being able to be pushed out. But I mean, a lot of us have kind of held off on turning on two-factor authentication for everything, and I get it. It's kind of annoying that every time I log into like Facebook on a new device, it's like, oh, well, but now you gotta go check your phone. Honestly, for the security, just a straight normal password, it's just not secure enough in a lot of cases, especially with all the data breaches we've been seeing. A couple other things that we though as website owners specifically should do, because honestly, like me turning on two-factor authentication would not have prevented this in any way because I just got a plugin update. I trust PowerPress, I trust Blueberry that this plugin update is gonna be, is gonna have good stuff for, it's gonna be important. I, I probably should go ahead and do the updates. And I've never had an issue like that before from any of these reputable companies that, whose plugins I use. But what should we do? Well, in this case, like often, I was kind of taking the lazy path. I have a lot of plugins, um, especially on the Income School website because we have a lot of functionality. And so for a lot of these plugins, I have auto updates enabled. In fact, you can see that I still have them enabled because I haven't gone through to disable them. That's in large part because a lot of updates that get pushed out, they're little things, but they happen fairly frequently. And sometimes if you don't keep up with the updates, the functionality on your website starts to break down especially if your WordPress updates are happening automatically and your plugin updates are not, or your theme gets updated, but your plugins don't, things start to not work together very well. And so we've accepted this new WordPress feature, new, it's a couple years old now, of enabling auto updates. And because of that, like I didn't even do this update on the website, it just happened automatically. Now I was fortunate, one of my other websites that uses PowerPress, I either hadn't turned on auto updates or they just hadn't run for that day yet and that made it so that this update didn't happen on that website because that would have been yet another one that I would have had to clean up. Okay, but save yourself as much headache as possible and just one, at least have daily backups, but two, you can just schedule a time to update all your plugins, even if it's only like every two weeks and just do all your updates kind of at once. That way you can run a backup right before and you never have to worry about m losing a bunch of work that you just did when you update your plugins and find out something like this happened. Now there's another cool plugin that you can use, especially if you own multiple websites. 
I use this, it's called Manage WP. And we actually recently made a bunch of changes on the Income School website, and I haven't reconnected Income School. So you'll see, um, I've got a few of these websites that are showing disconnected, mostly because I just haven't reconnected them. And the cool thing is, is Manage WP is a tool that we can use to actually do those daily backups. So I'm getting backups from my host, Cloudways. They're running backups. I'm not even sure how often, but I think they're probably daily. But I'm also on a bunch of my websites, particularly ones where I'm regularly making changes. Those ones I have updating daily here as well. And they cost me like a dollar a month for daily update, for daily backups. Another cool thing I can do is I can click into one of my websites like this one that you know, Cook for Folks. And it, I can see right here that I have these updates that are ready for a couple of my plugins. I don't have a WordPress update, I don't have a theme update, but I do have these plugin updates. So I can select all, and if I want to, I can run a safe update. What that safe update now is doing is it's creating that backup, and now it's gonna go through and make all of those updates for me, which is pretty awesome. So I don't have to do that in like multiple steps, it's just gonna go ahead and take, it, take care of it, runs the backup, then updates each of the plugins, and then we move on. And I can do that with my theme, I can do that with everything, right here for Manage WP. Now Manage WP has a bunch of other things and this isn't intended to be a sales pitch for them. Really Manage WP like is free to start. You can get monthly backups for free, which honestly on some of my websites is plenty because I'm not making any changes to them. There's not a whole lot happening. They're just, I just have content there that's sort of sitting there getting traffic. And so for those, the free monthly backup is enough. I can also schedule, uh, I can have uptime monitor, which I do on my big websites, the ones that are really important to me for my business. And what that'll do is it'll text me, or I can get an email or a Slack notification anytime my website goes down. So if it's been down for like a minute, if it pings the website and it can't hear back, I get a text saying your website's down. And then I get a text saying when it's back up and how long it was down for. So. I can monitor how my website's doing and I can go deal with it if anything's happening. So in short, protect yourself. You can do that through just a few simple means. One, don't enable auto updates. Update all of your plugins and themes basically at once after getting a good backup because that's gonna allow you to be able to just go back in time if anything bad does happen and not lose out on a whole bunch of valuable work that you already just did. Make sure you're not reusing passwords a bunch. Use a good password manager so that you can have really strong passwords that nobody's ever gonna be able to guess. Use two-factor authentication and minimize the number of people who have access to important assets in your business. That includes your, your WordPress website, that includes bank accounts, Facebook pages. Minimize the number of people who have access. Only give access to what people need. I think that's gonna do a lot to protect you. And also you can use tools like WordFence that are gonna be able to scan for that kind of stuff quickly. Um, and in real time and be able to clean that sort of stuff up so that if anything does happen, you get a nice quick cleanup or uh, they'll at least alert you to it quickly so that you can revert back to that backup that you saved. So doing some of these kinds of things are just gonna help protect your website as well as your business from people with malicious intent who just wanna take what you've built. Don't let them do that. Speaking of building things, that's what we're doing here right now. We're focused on building brands and I'm taking you along the journey of a new brand that I'm building called Pantry Preparedness. I'm excited for this. I've been showing lots of different things that I've been working on content wise, and there's just more to show, more to do, and I'm excited to take you along for that journey. So I hope you'll continue to join me. I just kind of had to interrupt this week with this very timely um, thing that just happened. Website security is important and business security is important. So take care of yourself and I'll see you in our next video.